Hello, Chef here with yet another review for you, the viewer. I thought this would be pretty cool to share something unusual with you. And a quick open box review. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, look at those babies. Now, you might not know what they are, so I'm going to show you. Talk about them just a little bit. Pretty cool. Ambidextrous, lefty or righty. Uh, many different uses. Uh huh. You can see that there. Really nice. They're like pinchers. And what these actually are are stainless steel one piece welded right here. Okay. Finished really nice. Ergonomic, comfortable in your hand. These are special fishbone pliers or fishbone removers, but they've got a lot of other uses. So I don't have any uh, fish here today, no bones to remove. Uh, I haven't gone fishing and uh, the, the fish around here is not that fresh. Don't eat old fish, that's your advice for the day. Old stinky fish, you don't want that. Get the freshest fish you can get and find. I suggest you're near a clean piece of ocean river, lake, or stream when you're consuming your fish. Those are some words of wisdom. Think about that. Fresh fish. Okay, so this removes the bones, but it does other things too. I've got some lavender here. Oh, love lavender. So you can run your fingers down it and you can poke your fingers really good, or you can use a tool like this and remove the lavender. Quick and easy, no pain, doesn't hurt your fingers. Wow, really cool. It's a cutting edge tool. I'm all done. There's my lavender, there's the clean stem. The stem, by the way, goes in the chicken stock. We don't throw the stem away. Or vegetable stock if you're one of these purist vegans. That's okay. Everyone's got their own little lifestyle choices. I understand. So, whether you're a vegan or not, uh, this is good for stock, and that's a fact more flavor. This is really good. It's going in one of my black bean dips today. Lavender does a lot of things for you and it's used uh, in the medical industry, in the fragrance industry. Uh, all kinds of people love lavender, especially the French. Lavender's big in France. I'm going to zoom in on that there for you. Uh, this lavender was picked and dried in the sun and uh, that was picked a couple of weeks ago. Uh, summertime is the best time for lavender. Bees love lavender. There's even lavender honey, hand creams and scents and shampoos and you name it, it's all out there. So that's what I use these for today. That's the review. And if you need them, of course, you can just hit up your sponsor, score all the cool stuff there. Those, by the way, are stainless steel. They're made to last forever. They've got a lifetime warranty. And... Uh, yeah, just like the Turbo Knife, it's cutting edge. So if you're looking for the cutting edge, stainless steel, nice, modern, high-tech stuff, avoid the big box stores. You know who they are, Big A and everyone else, Big W. Yeah, they all sell a bunch of crap, disposable crap. So you go to the sponsor, you buy something like this, you buy it once, you're done. Same thing here, Turbo by Porsche made in Germany. This, by the way, is the sharpest knife you can buy right now out of the box from Germany. Yeah, it's really, really nice. It's cutting edge. So that's the review. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, support your sponsor. Keep cooking and have a beautiful day. a finished mushroom appetizer. and desk surface, in my opinion, countertops, islands, you name it. It's beautiful. Red oak is more porous, and it will accept stain a little bit more. 
This is the same thing here, except this one is mineral oil finished. And then we're going to make it look like this. This is dark American walnut. Same deal. Made in America. Full length strips. Food safe glue. Perfectly flat, perfectly square. Yeah, really, really nice. So stay tuned with me and I'm gonna be back and show you a few tips here. Here, so I'm using this block today. I noticed it's getting a little bit dry. Time to oil it again. So I'm going to be using uh, two products today. I thought I'd share them with you as I oil this end grain rock maple butcher block. So the first one is uh, let me see. The first one is my my standard right here, and that is this awesome Boost Mystery oil. Love it second one is the board cream okay board cream good stuff so uh, you notice they're different the board creams a little bit thicker you actually have to squeeze it pretty good to get it out of the package and the oil is a little thinner so it pours out easier so I actually take and mix the two together I'm gonna put a little bit of my mixture on the block like this right here uh-huh like that and I'm going to work it in plastic bag here a little swirl motion like this okay work it in real good uh-huh if your blocks really dry it's gonna suck that oil right up uh, this particular block has not been oiled in a while so it's sucking it right up really quick. You can see that. It's penetrating. Yeah. That is the video. If you need the products, your sponsors got them right there. Uh, this will be dry within a few minutes or hours. I'll just let it sit overnight and it'll be totally dry by morning. Thanks for watching. Keep cooking. Have a beautiful day.